Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, and today we're going to go over the 2019 Coleman Lantern 17RD. This is a great floor plan. It's perfect as a little couple's model. Well laid out. You have a decent kitchen here and the big U-shaped dinette, so if you do have any guests that come over, you can easily accommodate them. Let's start off here on the kitchen, though. What you'll see is that you have excellent prep space right here, thanks to the fact they went with a single bowl sink as well as the two-burner cooktop. You also have an electrical outlet right over to the side. So that way, if you need to set a coffee maker here, you can do that. Right up top here, you will see your tank monitoring panel as well as a switch for your water pump. You will also see your power awning control and the lights that are in the awning. Right around the corner here is your multimedia center. This controls the speakers in here. It is also Bluetooth capable. You have storage right up top and right over here is the microwave. If we drop down below here, you'll see your Norco fridge with the drop down freezer box right there. And then right up top are your controls. This one does run off both propane and electric. Moving down a little bit further, we'll continue on with the storage down here underneath the sink. You see that's probably where you want to put some of your pots and pans. It also gives you access to plumbing, direct vent furnace, and then you have a single drawer here for your flatware. So as I mentioned, all along the back, you have this big U-shaped dinette back here. So you know, that way you can easily sit four to five people back here. You have the long table as well. So again, it just creates a, a nice spot to be able to sit back and relax. Also, this can convert into a bed, so if you need additional sleeping space for guests, you can certainly accommodate them as well. Or if you just want to you know, turn it into a bed and it's just the two of you and you want to lay here, because right up here is where your TV will go. So that way if you want to lay here and watch TV, you can hook a TV up right there. Just you know, make, make yourself kind of comfortable. Obviously windows all the way around to let in a ton of natural light. Then you also have storage all along the top here. And then right behind me, you will see there's a little shelf with an electrical outlet, and then you have a big storage area right underneath that. A little bit further down is your fuse box, uh, or your fuse panel right down there, as well as your breaker panel. So if you ever uh, have to get into those, that is where they will be located. Making our way around the corner, you have your vent right up top here, just kind of help with some airflow if you don't want to run the AC. Thermostat right off to the side. This is only for your direct vent furnace. There is a wall mounted AC, which I'll show you in a little bit. But of course, the controls for that are right on the unit itself. When we take a look into the bathroom, right down here is the toilet, foot flush lever toilet. If I take a seat in here, I mean, it, you know, I'm a pretty decent sized guy, so it is a little tight uh, as far as the legs. You know, I can make do here. I'm not busting my knees on anything. My feet are hitting the shower, but again, very workable. Uh, as far as in the shoulders, though, you know, it, it, even though they did do a little cutout here, it is still a little tight for me. So, you know, depending uh, depending on your size, it, it may work for you, it may not. Uh, right over here to the side, though, you can see you have a little cutout there for some, you know, extra reading material or other items. Storage underneath there. Larger sink, so this makes it uh, easier to wash your hands. A little bit of extra counter space right up top here, as well as an electrical outlet. So that way, you know, if you need to plug in hair dryer, curling iron, you have a spot in which you can put it down. You also have your robe hook right up top. It also doubles as a uh, place to hang your towel. And then right over here is the shower. So I am six foot, as you can see. I kind of have to hunker down here, even with my head uh, up in the vent. So just bear, you know, just kind of know that if you're really tall, the shower is probably going to be a, a tough point for you. But if you're, you know, again, if you're six foot like myself, it is doable. Yeah, you have to bend down, but with the hand wand, it's still easy enough to shower up. As we make our way up front here, you will see the queen size bed. There is a little bit of storage here. If we lift this front portion up, you can see the storage running right across the front there. So if you have some longer items you need to set in there, maybe like, you know, uh, fishing poles, pool noodles, something like that, you can fit those in there. You also have this, you have this nightstand, which is really nice. You see the electrical outlet right there, some storage underneath, which is pretty cool. And then right up top, you have additional cubby hole storage right there and then you have your wall mounted ac unit right above the bed so that way you stay nice and cool at night and then a shelf running the full length of the top there as well as right down below you kind of have another nightstand there a little cubby hole underneath and an electrical outlet now that we've seen the inside let's take a look at some of the outside features on the coleman 17 rd Right up front here is your 20 pound propane tank. And then behind that you have rails there for your battery. Coming up the front a little bit is your diamond dutch plating helping to protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. 
So we come around to this side, you will see this one has solar prep. So if you want solar, just simply buy the portable panels, plug it in right there, it's already pre-wired and that will trickle charge your battery. We take a look right up front here, we open up the door, you can see that this is an excellent front storage compartment, so you know it's a big door too, so if you have some larger items like grills, things like that, a lot of times you're still able to fit them in there. Power awning on the uh, 17RD here, so you just flip the rocker switch one way to roll it out, the other way to have it roll right back in. Getting into the unit is pretty simple as well, you'll see you have the foldable step right there with the grab handle. You'll also see the three-year structural warranty on here, which is currently the best in the industry. Right down here is your electric outlet, so if you need to uh, plug anything in, that will be the place to do it. And as we make our way around back, you will see that this has your uh, bumper with your end cap, so you can pop that off. It gives you a great spot to store your sewer hose. You'll also see right here you have a spare tire mounted to that. Hopefully you never have to use it, but in the event that you do, it's right there and it is very easy to access. You don't have to climb underneath your unit and get in the mud and everything to get to it. 30 amp power cord is housed right in the unit itself. Just pull it out, plug it in, and you have power. Right down below here, we'll see you have two terminations. In front of your axle is your gray tank. Behind the axle is your black tank. So just bear that in mind when you're pulling up and dumping. Of course, if you're gonna be somewhere a little bit longer, you can always purchase a Y, assuming you have a dump right at your site. Uh, if you're going to be going somewhere you don't have city water, you want to make sure to fill your fresh water tank, you'll do that right here. And then directly underneath will be your city water fill. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2019 Coleman Lantern 17RD. If you're interested in this little travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.